guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am just getting ready to run out the door today. Switching out my gym bag. I'm gonna put these on my table, even though I should be putting them in the laundry room. So I'm sleeping. Not the laundry room, but the laundry basket. And then I need to prep my food today. It is Wednesday, so we have our morning meeting and then I'm heading over to our other office to see patients today. I have another leftover Chipotle. I always get the bowl of Chipotle and then it's enough to last me for like two or three meals. I honestly had a really tough day in clinic yesterday. Just we're training a lot of new providers, so lots of, sorry, not new providers, new medical assistants, lots of mistakes. Um, and it was really frustrating me. For example, one of the mistakes was one of the, my children was scheduled as a follow-up 15 minutes for follow-up visits where well-child checks get 30 minutes. And so that already threw off all of my other appointments. I had asked the MA, like, what am I following up on? Like, what am I following up on with this kid? Is it really fall or is it a well-child? To ask them, and then I never heard back. So then I go into the room and I ask the mom, and she's like, no, it's just like this well child check so then I have to do all of this stuff they need paperwork they need vaccine records like um they have the inmate has not taken vital signs they haven't gotten a weight and like this appointment now has taken me an hour versus taking me 30 minutes and I only have 15 minutes slotted for them so that was really frustrating um and just kind of threw my day off I was just in a really bad mood yesterday there was also like one of my patients was waiting for over an hour and 15 minutes for me because they forgot to put them on the board. It's just like a lot of stuff yesterday was not going in my favor, so I'm hoping for a better week. But I'm going to do just a few days of my life, hopefully Wednesday through Friday, and hopefully the week is looking up from here. Morning clinic is done. I'm getting ready to go into the gym. I am going to do a Whitney Simmons workout today. I kind of sometimes follow her stuff sometimes don't sometimes i cancel my subscription with her but if you are a beginner or you just don't like creating your own workouts i highly suggest her app it's called alive and basically this is what it looks like there's a lot of options i currently am logged into their lift i think i'm in their advanced lift and it's the eight week program so i did glutes and hamstrings yesterday and now I'm going to do their shoulders, chest and tries. And typically what I will do with my workouts is for eight weeks or 10 weeks or so, I will do a program. And then once I'm done with this program, I will probably cancel my membership and do my own thing for the next couple of months. And then when I get bored or tired of kind of creating my own thing, then I will go back on and see if there's any new workouts and then do another program again, just because I, I like to create my own workouts, but sometimes I just want sorry sometimes I just want like a little bit of a break so we're gonna do that I'm wearing my new Fabletics scrubs today you guys how cute are these I think they're in the color wisteria I love the purple I don't have anything like this um, I am obsessed but while I'm working out something kind of crazy <laughs> I don't know, it might not be crazy, but I think it's kind of crazy, is I like to listen to podcasts during workouts, not so much music. I actually really never listen to music while I work out, um, but I also love true crime podcasts. So my current favorite podcasts are Anatomy of Murder. I, it just sounds so weird to say that, but I am about to listen to an episode while I work out. And then I also love Crime Junkie, and I love their... Um, Park Predators, I might, actually I might listen to that because I feel like they just released a new season. And then I really like Counter Clock, which is a crime junkie branch as well. And they're currently on, I believe, season six. And you can binge watch or binge listen to most of the episodes, but they're dropping two new episodes every Friday, I think, until maybe the middle of June. But there's a bunch of episodes out right now to binge so I listened to that it was really good highly recommend but now I'm out I have kind of been off of my listening to the toast I don't know I just haven't been that interested in pop culture lately I've just been more interested in 
like spooky things, which is weird. I think I'm manifesting fall weather, <laughs> even though I'm so not close to fall weather here in Florida. It's literally so hot. Um, it's just the beginning of our miserable season, as I like to call it. But this is a little, another look at the scrubs. How freaking cute! It kind of matches my water bottle. I'm a pastel queen today. We're gonna do a workout. Workout is done. I just grabbed a smoothie at a place called Pliables near me. And I think it's called like the power smoothie and I just replaced the regular whey protein for plant-based protein. February, or when the police got there in early March. It's interesting. While the authorities mulled over possible... It's interesting. Honestly, it tastes like a... Not slimy. It's very smooth which is nice. The flavor is good, not too sweet, which I like. So honestly, I would give it like an eight out of 10. I like it, would get again. We are home, we are making dinner. I am making my famous, okay, they're not actually famous, but they should be famous, French Wrap Supremes. If I can get my Impossible Burger open. I will show you guys a little bit of how to make them. They're actually the easiest thing in the world if I have everything to make the actual front trap part. If not, I guess we will make tacos. I don't know, we'll see. We're also working outside because I need to show you guys the little tank pool that we got. We have to build a device essentially to level it out so that there's not like a huge dip in the pool. So Seth is working on that. He's phoning a friend right now for help. I love when Seth is off. He's school finished last week um, because summertime, like the evenings and the summer, really feel like summer because he hasn't been working really like he does work during the summer but it's not like serious work that he does so it just it feels i don't know it just gives summer i love it okay bad news is i do not have everything to make crunch wrap supremes so we're just gonna make regular tacos oh for tacos looks really good i'm about to sit down and eat this good morning you guys we are making mocha Then we're going to use for my matcha. I've been using cashew milk and it's super good. This is a really nice clean brand, Elm Elmhurst. It's only filtered water and cashews. Beauty straws. Hopefully you can see them. They have little flowers on them. They have them on Amazon. I have them linked in my Amazon. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put honey in there to sweeten it. Oops. I'm all ready for work, but today is gonna be a day that I do not. Bye, babies. I love you. They always give me the saddest looks. Today's gonna be a day that I don't have a medical assistant. I'll tell you guys more about that in one second. So my medical assistant who had been my medical assistant basically since I started working there, he started a little bit later than I did, but he was still with me for probably about, oh shoot. What did I just hit? Oh, my trash can. He was with me for about nine months. He got into PA school. I think I told you guys that. So he moved uh, and I got another. Oh my God, my lips are so dry. <laughs> and I got a me another medical assistant. She was really good, like had experience, knew the charting system, like was really good. And she was there for about three months, but then she got another job offer that was honestly just better than anything that we could have given her as like a small private practice. And she's been gone, I wanna say for two weeks now probably. And it's been, it's really hard when you don't have a dedicated medical assistant. We have other medical assistants in the practice, but they're not mine. And 
when you don't have somebody that you trust to delegate your work to, not your work, but things that you need to get done, like calling patients with this test result um, or letting them know, like if they ask me something and I didn't know on the phone, but I want to research it and like let them know of a specialist in the area later, I'll have my medical assistant call them with a name afterwards and or like if I need follow-ups or if I need paperwork completed, just like not having that person to go to, it's so much more than just rooming, taking vitals and putting them and like triaging them essentially. It's way more than that. So not having that has been super hard. So today's the day I do not have a medical assistant in clinic at all, but when I, that happens, they do typically give me um, like some nurse practitioner students besides the one that I have right now, just to, we take a lot of students into our office and my front desk can room and take vitals. So that helps, but if there's any swabs that need to be done, like if it's a sick visit, then I have to do them, which is not the biggest of deals, especially at my other office. If it was at my, like my main office, it would be a very big deal because my office there is so busy, but our other office is pretty chill. So it should be okay today. Just, I'm trying to stay positive. I feel like I lack positivity in my life. Very strange update, but it's 1.20 in the afternoon. I am home, not for the day, but my next patient isn't scheduled until 3.15. I just wrapped up at the gym, so, and I just got home, so I'm actually gonna shower because I desperately need to wash my hair. So I'm like, instead of having to do it tonight, let me do it now. Please, look at this. I'm so tired. It's Friday morning, last day of the week. We can do this. I say to myself every week, on my shift four out of four, that working three would be perfect. Three 10 hour shifts. My problem is, is I like to be busy. Like sometimes when I get home at night, like last night was a perfect example. When I get home at night and I had had a pretty chill day at work, so like I edited some vlogs, some TikTok vlogs like in between uh, my regular work. And then I didn't have to edit anything when I got home, which obviously is not normal and like should be normal. I should be seeing patients, but I had a slow schedule yesterday. I didn't have much that I needed to do last night. I was for probably like an hour and a half, I was just sitting on the couch watching TV, like scrolling on my phone. And that's not something that I typically do during the week. Like maybe I'll sit on the couch and watch like a show like survivor once during the week but i typically don't have time to sit down until it's like 9 45 10 o'clock and i need to be getting into bed so anyway it got me a little bit bored i don't really like to be about this morning but it's friday i'm about to make myself a matcha i need to throw out these crusty bananas i would freeze them but i have a bunch in the freezer already I just love how pretty matcha looks every morning, like, it's gorgeous. All done, I'm gonna sit outside and do my little devotional with the babies, hi. Just taking my lunch break at home today uh, because we actually had our project manager come over and I'm so happy he did. The person that we worked with initially for um, our kitchen has been super nice, but not even but like he has been good i just like when i am i like the creative process of this stuff like i want to go i want to look at the textures i want to look at the tiles i want to look at everything together i want to get an idea i want to know what you think like i like this to be a process and he just really hasn't been working with me that much on that so anyway our project manager came over because he needed to do measurements and i was talking to him he was a really nice guy and he asked me what i was doing with the floor and i don't know if i've said this in my videos before but we were putting white tile in the floor because we have this um pizza parlor-esque tile right now which you guys know i don't like it's just not my thing i know that you know some people like that stuff i just i personally don't like it but my dream kitchen has wood floor in it and it doesn't have to be real wood floor because i have dogs so obviously i know that they would scratch that up but some type of like laminate whatever that looks like wood i'm just making myself this is like leftovers that we had last night it's really 
tofu fried rice and green beans. But my dream floor in my entire house is like a light wood color. I love that. And he was like, why are you spending all this money if you're not doing your dream kitchen? And I was like, well, you know, we're not gonna live here forever. He was like, but you're gonna live here for the next couple of years, right? I was like, yeah. He was like, you need, this needs to be like what you want it to be. And he also said putting laminate would probably be cheaper than putting tile, because apparently you have to lay a bunch of stuff for tile first, where you don't have to do that for laminate. So now I'm excited because he was like, I love like, he was like throwing out ideas. He was like, we're gonna, let's do the cabinets this big. Let's change this dimension. And like, let's put a spice cabinet here and I can make you a pantry over here. And like, let's do a hood and let's make the hood match the bottom cabinets. Um, and that way, like you bring everything together. And I was like, yes, this is like, mm -hmm. you're like, let's do, a, what is it called? Um, a pot filler. Let's do a pot filler over here. Like if we can make it work and like that's my dream kitchen so now i'm excited <laughs> but anyway we are planning next friday to go look at some laminate floor together and kind of see what we want to do um as far as work work went, work went good this morning i have like i think three notes that i need to finish up i just have to run over here and um meet him so it's 108 right now i'm gonna eat and probably stay here till like 1 30 and then head back finish up my notes and see the rest of my patients i have a six o'clock new patient scheduled and i was like oh my god that's it that's just i'm so sorry like this is not mean but that's literally every provider's worst nightmare on a friday a new patient on your last lot um so i'm hoping that they can move him up because i have some other like 15 minute appointment openings where i I can do a new patient. I can take 30 minutes with the patient like, and they'll get there full time. Like everything will be fine. It will just make me be able to leave work at a decent time and not be there until 7, 7.30. So anyway, I'm hoping that can change. And what else? I have some packages on the front door. Okay, we're gonna open this together a little bit later, but I ordered a bunch of stuff from Set Active. I'm so excited, all this stuff is so cute. And then my husband got some new shoes. So he always gets excited when he gets packages because he doesn't get them very often. Let's eat lunch. Why would we want that baby? Do you wanna go for a walk? Oh my God. Oh, why do we not ever have any forks? Clean forks, never. I, I literally just emptied the dishwasher yesterday. Oh. Where, I get it. where are you putting the forks? Nowhere. I'm putting them nowhere. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know I know I don't like to use. Oh, just chipped it again. Nice. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna have another piece of pizza. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those plates piss me off because they have no edges. I know. Like that, that makes nice plates. But don't get me wrong. I actually probably won't use it. I'll probably just use this. Whatever yeah. you don't eat, I'm gonna eat. So take what you want before I eat it all. That's good. Just a warning. I know. Mm. Happy Saturday. Before I end the vlog, I wanted to show you guys a few products I got in the mail, just like a little bit of a haul. Um, a few from Amazon and then my set active package that I showed you guys yesterday. First thing from Amazon that I got is a laser hair removal. I am so excited for this. I have done laser hair removal at my job and I like doing it, but if I wanted to continue doing it, I would have to take my lunch break off and like not go to the gym and schedule time with my esthetician and then they also like want us to tip and i'm like i work here i don't know anyway that's my prerogative so i ordered this and i'm excited to use it i basically saw it on a tiktok i was uh um influenced to buy it from there it is the ipl ice cooling hair removal so 
IPL laser is really good. It was like 70 bucks on Amazon. And then I got this from Etsy and you guys, I'm so sad and it's my fault. But I got, I saw the cutest phone case on Etsy and it was perfect because I live in Florida. Like, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It is. I love like the details. These are real shells, like so freaking cute. But I ordered the wrong size phone case and I ordered a 12 Pro instead of a 15 Pro Max. I'm so upset with myself, um, but I I can't return it. So I'm thinking about selling it or I don't know, giving it away to somebody because it is just gorgeous. But if you guys are interested, it's from Sav's Jewelry Shop on Etsy. Just such detailed work. And then I wanted to show you guys my set active order. This is the first thing I bought. I'm actually wearing it. I'm addicted to buying the easy pants from set active i get them in a size extra small and then i just got a tank top to go with it i got it in the color oxford which is like a navy color but these are literally the most perfect pants for summertime like you can just throw on t-shirts you can throw on anything over top of them and you can kind of dress them up dress them down i don't know i think they're so cute i have them in black and white and i needed a i didn't need i wanted the blue color. Next up, I just got a sleep set, which I should have worn last night to sleep, but it's basically just this big, long, oversized t-shirt. Fabric is super soft. And I got, I must have left them in my closet. I just took this stuff out of my closet to do a review, but I also got just like a cute little pair of shorts to go with this sleep set. They're the same color. Up, I got the same um, tank top that I'm wearing. I got it in white. Just I thought it was easy for the summer. I love basics. And then in the winter time, you can like pair this under something. I'm really into navies and browns right now, which is great because they are, I think, technically in my color palette. If you guys remember from a couple videos ago, my friend Heather, who's from That Nurse Heather on TikTok, she is. A certified color analysis and she analyst certified color analyst but she did my colors for me and she found that i'm a true autumn so like browns navies are in my color palette anyway i'm a hoe for an exercise dress i have two from aloe that are perfect but you cannot tell me that this is not the cutest exercise dress in the world the low cut back i think we'll wear this to breakfast today Going to breakfast with some friends and then last but not least i just got a exercise set in brown i have this exact set in like a dark cherry red that is so pretty oh no okay so i got i did get the pants for this that is what i left in my closet they're the same color pants they're in there Mm -hmm. what is the the sport body which i really like the sport body texture and i like how they feel and how they move with me so that's my favorite set active fabric right now these are the little shorts that i got to go with that t-shirt and that's all i got from set active i'm gonna make my matcha I only have a two-day weekend this weekend so i'm just off today and tomorrow but it's okay because I'm going into working Monday through Thursday, so I'm going to recycle these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. If you guys have any videos that you want to see from me, anything else that you want me to do, anything else you want me to add, talk about, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm going to link, everything is always linked below in my um, like link tree, like to know it, Amazon, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.